Hey everyone, Pastor George here, and uh, yeah, this is coming to you guys late because I've had a heck of a day for uh, today, but I finally have gotten a chance to get to the, back to the church and to record this theologue. Um, and uh, just because I've had a, a, a day that was kind of all over the place, it reminded me funnily enough of the verses from Matthew 6 that that Starbucks sign used last week, the one that I, I made my theologue from last week about. And um, I think it's funny because, uh, you know, it, it happens to come up, but it, this has been, for whatever reason, a consistent theme in my life over the past, like, two weeks. Um, and, of course, the, the story that I'm talking about, in case you didn't see the theologue, is Jesus telling his disciples not to worry. And he applies this to things that we would put a lot of stake in, right? Like clothes, like food. Right. And he tells us, don't worry about those things. Um, and I think that's an interesting thing. And his upshot is, is that it isn't that these things aren't important, right? That's not what Jesus is saying. But what Jesus is saying is that we don't devote our time to worry, right? To despair, to like, how are we going to figure out how to do everything, right? Like, I don't like pithy phrases like this, but it's like one of those things where you just got to let go and let God, right? <laughs> just like, all right, I'll just let, hand this over to you because I don't know what's going to happen. That's kind of what Jesus is, is saying, right? And at the end of that, he says, therefore, do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will bring troubles of its own. Each day, ha each day has enough trouble of its own, right? So like focus on, on itself, right? Uh, focus on on today. Don't focus on tomorrow. Just focus how you get through today. And on like particularly stressful days or days when you're moving around, I think this is helpful to remember. And it, it, the reason it's also been a theme is I've been reading um, The Revelations of Divine Love, which is a, a medieval, uh, a, I don't know what to call it, vision, I guess you could say, which was recorded by a woman called Julian of Norwich in England in the 1300s. Um, and uh, it's, it's all about you know, her being sick. And while she's sick, she experiences a vision where she sees Jesus and he talks to her and stuff like that. And I think one of the interesting things it's that's said in that is this quote that Jesus says to her because she's talking about, you know, just sin and how things are going on. And what he says to her is all shall be well and all shall be well and all manner of things shall be well. And I think that's just a really you know, that's probably the most famous quote from the whole thing. It's much bigger than that. But if you look, were to look up Revelations of Divine Love by Julian of Norwich, that's that's what you're going to see. But because I've been reading that recently, it's just been interesting to have that in my mind, um, you know, through the workings of the Holy Spirit, obviously. But, but to remind me during times when it just gets completely stressful that, like, God's going to take care of it, even if it's really difficult right now, eh, he'll figure it out. So uh, for anyone else who's had a stressful day or has had stressful days in the past, uh, know that one, we all have them, and two, um, that all shall be well. And I think that that's an important thing to remember. So I hope the rest of your Thursdays are good for uh, whatever time of them you have left, uh, you're able to enjoy the night. And I will see you tomorrow for our Bible study recap because uh, we're having Bible study tomorrow. So have a wonderful rest of your Tuesday and peace out.